Good day class! Welcome to our new lesson and for today's topic we will discuss about the midline theorem and it is under the learning competency proving the midline theorem. So we will discuss the midline theorem of a trapezoid and a triangle. Okay. So uh, to give us a short preview on what this topic will all about, Take a look at the two illustrations. So the first image is a triangle. So we have here a triangle IFA. Okay. And then we have here a line segment TH. And if you will notice class, we ha also have here different marks showing that some parts of it are congruent and parallel. Okay. So later on, um, I will go. I am going to discuss what this line is all about. Okay, and the next picture is a trapezoid. So remember that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral, okay? Because it has four sides and four angles, and it is a closed figure. So it is a trapezoid R B E A, or you can also read this as trapezoid B E A R okay or trapezoid E A R B as long as you go you will read the name of it or the points in consecutive ways okay so pwede po yon. and we also have here a line segment T S and as you um, as same as the triangle it also has marks showing uh, parts of it are congruent and parallel, okay? So, let us proceed to our first example. So, we have the midline theorem of a triangle. So, the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the, to the third side and half as long. So, that is the median, okay? So, how are we going to illustrate this one. So, let's have the first image na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, we have here triangle IFA. Okay? So, according sa ating midline theorem of triangle, segment that joins the midpoints of the two sides. Okay? So, we have here three sides because it, it is a triangle. So, we have side IF, side FA, and side IA. Okay? So, the uh, side IA is our base. And then, we have the two legs, side IF and, and side AF or FA. Okay? You can read um, this, AF or FA. So, pwede po yun, Any of the two. Okay. So, um, we need to have the midpoint. So, when we say midpoints, okay, when we say midpoint class, Okay, so yung midpoints natin, that is the center point of the leg. Okay, center point. So, um, to show the center point of the leg, you're just going to divide the, this leg into two equal parts. So, divide it by two, and the center point will be your midpoint. Same as the other side. Okay? And then... Um, after mo makuha yung midpoints ng two legs ng triangle natin, okay, for, uh, ko, pag kinonek mo yon, connecting the two midpoints of the two legs will be your median. Okay, that will be the median. Okay, so therefore, the median here is, the median here is segment TH. And segment TH or the median TH is parallel to the third side. So, your third side natin or yung base natin is side IA. So, your median is parallel to the base. So, in this case, median or segment TH is parallel to the base or line or base IA. Okay? That's uh, the theorem of the, of the, the midline theorem of a triangle. Now, for us to know or to compute the measurement of the median, okay, the formula will be median is equal to one-half times the measurement of the base. 
Okay, example. If HT, okay, if HT, your mesion, measures 7 cm. So, in this case, given na yung measurement ng H, ng mesion, which is 7. So, you're going to identify the measurement of the base, which is the IA. Now, for the solution, you're just going to follow your formula. We have median is equal to 1 half base. So, let us substitute a median for HT. And then, we have 1 half and the base is AI or IA. Okay? So, and then, let's have a substitution. So, HT is 7 centimeters. So, palit mo lang yan dito. And then, equals 1 half. Okay? And then, times AI. And then, next is, let us multiply the denominator. Multiplication property of equality, we have 2 times 7. Okay? The result will be the measurement of your AI. 7 times 2 is 14 centimeter will be the measurement of your base or the AI. Okay, so kapag naman ang nawawala ay yung median, this is very easy. Just need to multiply 1 half times the measurement of your base, which is yung AI natin. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. Now, let us discuss the next one. The midline theorem of trapezoid. So, the median of a trapezoid is the segment joining the midpoints of the legs. It is parallel to the basis of the trapezoid. So, the median here is uh, kagaya ng din ng kay triangle. So, we can be able to get the median once we connect or we join the midpoints of the legs of it. Okay? So, the midline theorem, the segment joining the midpoints of two non-parallel sides of a trapezoid is parallel to the basis of the trapezoid and its length is one half the sum of the measures of the basis. So, the uh, formula in getting the median of a trapezoid is median is equal to one half times the sum of base 1, base sub 1, and base sub 2. Now, to illustrate this one, we have this picture. So, we have here our trapezoid B E A R. Okay. Now again, so this trapezoid shows marks wherein uh, it shows that some parts of it are congruent and parallel. Now, median, okay, median of a trapezoid. Okay. So get first the midpoint of the legs of it. So ang legs natin dito ay side B R and side EA, okay? So, the bases are BE, side BE, and side RA, okay? So, getting the midpoints, you just need to divide the legs into two, okay? And then, syempre, you need to name that point. So, we have here point T and point S. Connecting point T and point S, we have line segment TS. That will be the median of our trapezoid, okay? Now, let us have the corresponding parts of this uh, trapezoid. So, we have side BE, this one. So, meron naman siyang ano, di ba? Uh, symbol, okay? Is parallel to side RA. And it is also parallel to our median, okay? So, I just forgot to write here that uh, side, this Median TS is parallel to the bases BE and RA. Okay? Next. Side BT, BT, okay? So, ito, I mean, line BT is congruent to line RT. Okay? So, BT plus the, mesh, the uh, side or line RT is equal to the measurement of the leg BR. Also, line ES is congruent to line AS. Okay? And ES plus AS is equal to the measurement of leg or side EA. Point T and S are the midpoints. Okay? TS 
is the median of trapezoid B E A R. Okay? Now let us have example in using uh, the for the median. So let us have let us have an example on how to apply the midline theorem of a trapezoid. Let's uh, use the same picture. Okay, so we have trapezoid B E A R wherein the median is median T S. So number one, if B E, so that's the first base, is 10 and R A, the second base, is 14, how long is T S? Now to get the measurement of the T S, use the formula of the median, one half times quantity base one plus base two. And then let's have substitution. So if our median is TS, then copy the formula 1 half. The base 1 is BE plus the base 2 is RA. And then let us substitute the, uh, the given to the formula. So TS, that's the unknown, the measurement of your median. 1 half is a constant. Your BE measures 10. Palit mo lang dito. Your RA measures 14. So, ito siya. And then, let us add. Simplify. So, 10 plus 14 is 24. Okay? So, 1 half times 24. We have 24 times 1 is 24 divided by 2. Now, the measurement of the median is 12. 12 units. Okay? So, B is 10. RA is 14. TS is 12. Okay? Next, if TS is 20, so this time, ibang case naman ito. Okay? So, ang given measurement ng median natin is, is 20 and BE is 15. Okay? How long? So, this is how long. I'm sorry for typo, uh, typographical error. So, if how long is the measurement of RA? So, again, let us use again here the formula for the median. So, we have TS. So, ginamit ko na yung uh, nakasubstitute na siya. Pero ito pa din yan, okay? So, TS, that's the median, is equal to 1 half times quantity BE plus RA. Substitution. So, TS given na, we have 20. 1 half is constant. BE is 15. And then, unknown yung measurement ng RA, yung second base. So, so a multiplication property of equality, let's multiply the denominator on the left side of the equation. We have 2 times 20 is equal to 15 plus RA. Let's simplify this one. 2 times 20 is 40. And then, let us apply here addition property of equality. So, let us transpose uh, 15, para mas madali siya. So, we have, it will become 40 minus 15 and then the result is 25 and that will be the measurement of side RA or base RA. Okay? So, that's how you are, uh, how you're going to apply the midline theorem of trapezoid. For us to be able to identify kung meron tayong natutunan sa lesson natin for today, so I want you to try to answer this one. So we have here a triangle TPR and trapezoid TGRN. Okay? So answer five questions. Okay? So number one, this is uh, three questions for a uh, triangle. If YA is 13.5, how long is TR? If PT is 40, how long is TY? If TR is 50, how long is YA? Okay, next. Now, uh, for number 4, for uh, the trapezoid, if GR is 16 and TN is 22, how long is SA? If GR is 24 and SA is 30, how long is TN? Okay, now try to answer this on your um, answer sheet and then uh, let us see kung meron tayong natutunan. Okay?